This is a one of those fabled Singer 201s. This is also one of those fabled Singer 201s. This one's a bit later. This one's made of aluminium and is a little bit lighter. Commonly thought of as the best straight stitch domestic machine that Singer made. But why is that? Let's have a look. This little beauty is a FAF 546 twin needle, triple feed, heavy duty sewing machine. Suitable for heavy duty canvases, sails, tarpaulins, that kind of thing. So what we're going to do is have a look at how this fully industrial machine compares in manufacture and in, in um, operation to the Singer 201s. This is the mounting position and the drive for the hook assembly on the Singer 201. And this is the same thing on the FAF. And you can see they're very similar in design and even size. This is the 201 hook. And the hook on the FAF, again, almost identical in size and in construction. This is the hook on the 201. And this is the one in the FAF. Except in here you can see there are two. But... It's the same if there's only one. Does the same job. Inside the hook fits the bobbin carrier or the bobbin basket. And you can see it here on the 201. And the same thing in the faff. Slightly different design, but doing the same job. Here's the bobbin going into the singer and the thread clips into the tension device and a slightly different design on the faff but you'll see it basically has the same principles so here's the bobbin going in and in the faff there's a cover that goes over the top of it and that contains the tension device If we look underneath the machine, we can see on the 201, this is the drive. Look at the faff, and we have very similar construction. Vertical shaft coming down, horizontal shaft takes that motion through to drive the hook. And it's all rotary, right from the, very, from the top all the way around. So in both machines, the only thing that is linear is the actual needle bar. That's the faff running. And you can see how the whole process works in this far more heavy duty. This is called a triple feed machine. Top, bottom feeds and with the needle feed as well. But the process is exactly the same in the Singer. And you can see here in the 201, as it picks up speed, how smooth it is. And that rotary action was able to make machines much smoother so they could work at higher speeds. This is the Singer 201 going through eight layers of denim and two layers of upholstery leather without any problem.
and the singer again going through two layers of heavy Dacron sail fabric. Now we can see where the heavy duty faff comes into its own. This has gone through two layers of the heavy Dacron. Then there's a, a nylon, a thick nylon webbing binding, and then a leather binding. So that's two layers of leather, two layers of nylon, two layers of Dacron. I've never managed to get a domestic machine to cope with this type of work. Until now, this is the singer going through the whole lot. First machine that's managed to cope with that amount of work. So I think you can see part of the reason why the 201 is such a capable machine. The manufacturing process and the design, very similar to the high quality, heavy duty industrial machines that were made by the likes of Pfaff in Germany. Um, and here we have a Singer, a domestic machine with very similar manufacturing standards and manufacturing process. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked it.